In this video, we are going to learn about the process of preparing your Windows reference PC to create an image. To do that, we've got to strip out the drivers and anything else that Microsoft deems unnecessary when creating a fresh installation. Okay, the next step in this process is to do what's called a system prep to these Home and Pro images that we have here. System, the process of system prep, uh, prepping an image is to remove all the drivers and anything that is machine specific because we don't need those when we're installing to a totally new machine. So to start with, I want you to right click on your home reference PC. We're gonna choose clone and we're gonna call it reference PC sys prepped and click OK. Full clone, yes. And that process takes uh, three or four minutes. In a minute, we'll be using that sys prepped machine to actually prep it. And we'll describe that as we go along here. Okay, so when you're all done, you should have your reference PCs intact. We're not going to touch those. And we're going to prep our first home image. Go ahead and click the Start button to open that up. Okay, our home PCs booted up. The first thing we've got to do is log in as administrator, and your admin account is turned off by default. So let's go ahead and enable that account. By going to your command prompt, we're going to right click and run as administrator. Yes, and then we're going to type in the command net space user administrator and colon yes. And that should get you a completed successfully. We can exit that now. Right click on the My PC and sign out. And we'll sign back in as administrator. If you've never logged in as admin before, you're going to get a few setup screens along the way. And I want you to notice I just had a printer app sneak in on me because this machine's on the network. We've got to make sure there are no apps in Microsoft Store that sneak in or your sysprep will fail. And I'm going to give you an example of that. So now we're going to go through the sysprep process by clicking your start button. Once again, run as administrator. And we're going to type in the following command. And that is a percentage sign, winder, percentage sign, forward slash, and then the rest of it. Uh, generalize and shut down when you're done there. Go ahead and hit the Enter key. You'll get this window that pops up. You're going to leave it on the defaults, except click the, uh, the box that says generalize, which it seemed to not pick up in the process and we'll click OK. Ah, now here's that error I was talking to you about. It tells you to look in the Win Directory, System32, and so on and so on. Let's go there. So this is the beginning of the log file. The error messages that stop it from working are always going to be towards the end of this file. You can see the word failure right there. And right here you notice the Canon inkjet uh, and then you see we're entering sysprep, validating whether all apps are provisioned. And it turns out the Canon Inkjet was installed for a user, um, this, but not provisioned for all users. So bottom line, get rid of any apps that you installed at the store um, that weren't provisioned, whatever provision means. The safe bet is just to get them out of there. Not a problem with programs that are installed, all the other programs. It's just Microsoft Store programs that didn't have a login associated with them. They're going to throw this error. And I suppose an easier way to deal with that in the future is just to turn off your network before you come into your virtual machine. So I'm going to come into Add Remove Programs, Find Canon, there it is, and yank that out of there. And you have to do that for both users, the administrator user and then the, uh, the other. Right-click, log into the main user that you created. 
Type in cannon. There you go. In this case. And yank them both out of there. And then completely sign out of that second user. You don't want to still be in there when you carry out the sysprep. That has to be done from administrator only. Okay, now we're going to run that same command. Just up arrow. Click generalize. Click OK. And as you can see, that's the way it's supposed to work. This process is going to take about three minutes, and it will shut itself down automatically. All right, it's all done. Shutting back down. All automatic. Okay, this is what you should have when you're all done. Two system prepped PCs, your two originals still intact. Once again, do not open these sys prepped PCs all the way into uh, Windows or it's going to load your drivers and you're going to have to start that process over again by cloning the references to sys prepped PCs and prepping them over again to avoid that. And that is it for the sysprepped video. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.